right guys, I hope you're okay. So it's Wednesday today and I haven't really vlogged this week. Yesterday Harrison had his injections and he was absolutely fine for them, although afterwards he did have a slightly high temperature. Not a high temperature, just slightly over normal. Um, but he was absolutely fine, but he was whingy. He did have a bad tummy from the injection, so yeah, he wasn't feeling great. I was kind of concentrating on just looking after Harrison. Yesterday to Mike, although this sounds quite bizarre, and I don't mean it in a horrible way, but I absolutely love looking after Harrison when he's poorly. Um, I don't know why, I think it's like a mothering thing, and it's just so nice to like comfort him and look after him. He stayed up quite late with us last night because he just wasn't going to sleep in his cot. He was wide awake talking away, so I brought him down. But fortunately, he did let me lay in this morning, which was absolutely lovely of him. Um, he just plays away in his cot now, and he's a lot more content in that he'll just lay in his cot and won't need me to be laying next to him. Yeah, what you are talking about, but... Uh... Hi guys, I hope you're okay. So it is Thursday, and it's a little later on in the day. I've just been to visit my friend who has had her little baby boy, and he is so, so gorgeous. He was born slightly earlier than expected and he is just a beautiful, beautiful, tiny little dot. much today. This morning was spent trying to arrange some classes for Harrison, both swimming lessons and sensory classes, um, but unfortunately there's waiting lists for everything, which is insane. It's green lights are from. I feel like somebody's sent, like putting a laser in my face. I know, I don't know. Um, who knows? Um, I feel like to get a place on these classes you have to put them on the waiting list before they're even here which I'm sure I will be told is the right way to go about it but I think that's insane to sign a baby up before they're even in the world is a little bit crazy and maybe they should just do more classes if the demand is that high that's my thoughts on it um so yeah no classes at the moment uh, but yeah that's all I'm going to be rambling because it's a long drive home so I'm going to switch off now um, I think tomorrow I might be with my mum and dad, not too sure. Whatever I do get up to, I will be sure to vlog because this has been a bit of a quiet week. Okay, so it's Sunday morning and we are just getting ready to go to Harrison's first swimming lesson, which is super exciting, although I am dreading getting into swimwear, but hopefully Harrison will enjoy it. 
Um, sorry, I'm just looking at him in the camera. Um, yeah, hopefully he will enjoy it. I wanted to get him started on them as early as possible so that he's not scared of water. Um, I was never the most confident swimmer when I was little, so I want to get him used to it as quickly as possible so that he can enjoy fun times on holiday and stuff and not be scared. So it's time for Harrison's first swimming lesson. Harrison's new trick is to kick so hard that he moves his cot. Mike and I have just arrived at the train station. We are taking Harrison to London Aquarium today with my mum and dad. It should be a really nice day, but it's quite cold and I didn't bring a jacket, which is very silly of me. Also, I decided not to post my blog yesterday because I didn't really have much content at all. So I think I'm just going to make a super long vlog for this week. Um, I don't have much planned, but I have a few things, so hopefully it'll be a little bit more enjoyable than yesterday's would have been. As soon as you said that, I just went... Hi guys, I hope you're okay. So I've just walked in from London. And Harrison's starting again. Um, it was such a brilliant day, but Harrison has cried for the last two hours of it, I would say. And then decided on the train that he needed to be fed. And then he decided to do a massive poo explosion. And then he decided that he wanted to be sick everywhere. So I do feel pretty sorry for the commuters that were sat in our carriage, but these things happen. Time has come and we have to put Harrison's new bed together. He's grown, well he's outgrowing the smaller size of the stuff of Sleepy. So he needs to go into the bigger size. So we need to put all this together but there's quite a few pieces and I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as I once thought it would be but hopefully Harrison will sleep well in it tonight. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I love this big bouncy bed. I love this big bouncy bed. Mm -hmm. 
So we've just arrived in Bath where we did a little while ago and it's so pretty. Mike describes it as quaint. Little meal and a little for a little swim I'm whispering because Harrison's asleep and um, he is knocked out from it and um, Mike is downstairs having a Indian head massage I believe and I need to get ready because we're heading out to do the touristy bits and grab some lunch I have just had the nicest swim in that outdoor heater pool I always wanted to do that and never ever ever had the opportunity to and honestly that was the most relaxing thing I have experienced in months and if you haven't done it, I highly recommend that you find an outdoor heated pool because that was incredible. When I make it and have my big house, I need one of them for sure because that was a dream. Mike is just downstairs having, I think, a Indian head massage, um, which I'm kind of jealous about, but I needed to bring Harrison up. I was going to book one and I still might, maybe for tomorrow, but I kind of just, whatever. When you have a baby and you come somewhere like this, the logistics change massively because... Whereas me and Mike would have done like couples massages and stuff before and probably gone out in the heated pool together and just relaxed. Now someone has to be with the baby all the time. They would just swim with Harrison. That was in the indoor pool because he's not allowed in the thermal one. Uh, it was equally as amazing because I'm really enjoying swimming with Harrison at the moment. But the logistics changed. It's been such a relaxing break and I'm so, so pleased that Mike brought me here. I must admit I did give him a little bit of a hard time when he surprised me with it a couple of nights ago because I had to pack so last minute and packing for a baby as well is incredibly stressful you need bottles sterilizing equipment just you need to make sure they've got a cot blah 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 um but it has been incredible and he has scored some massive brownie points because he did good and this is just what I needed I've had time to paint my nails which is insane I have to come all the way to Bath to paint my nails I've had time just to sit down and watch TV in the evenings, we've had champagne, we've had breakfast in bed. It's just been such a dream and we haven't done anything like this since this time last year actually. So this has been much needed. I know I've not got my laptop so I can't do work. Mike hasn't got his laptop so he can't catch up on work emails and stuff. And the Wi-Fi is pretty rubbish here which although deep down it hurts a little bit is probably a blessing in disguise because we've spent quality time together as a family we've not been glued to our phones and it's just been a nice break also our hotel room has been playing classical music since we've arrived and i think i'm converted you know like i never would like this sort of thing before but i honestly it's so so relaxing and it's putting harrison to sleep and keeping him calm and i feel like i might have to put it on the radio 24 7 when we get home i'm not even joking by the way it made me sleep like a baby last night until five o'clock this morning when harrison woke us up anyway so harrison is awake and i'm waiting for mike but i'm so so sleepy would it be really naughty if i ordered room service while mike wasn't here probably i don't know about you harrison but swimming has exhausted me so we're just getting in the lift now and we're off to see the sights <laughs> How irresponsible. I found a really pretty street and at the end of it is something like Laura's Square, Laura's, Laura's house. I think I want to live here.
So I've just had a Sally Lum cinnamon butter bun and it was incredible. So this is pretty insane, but our room actually comes with a butler. Um, and the butler has just brought up champagne and canapes. So I have left Mike to look after Harrison. And I have found the biggest bubble bath and I've got my champagne. Say good morning. I hope you're okay so it is Saturday morning and as you can probably tell I am back home now from Bath I had such a lovely few days away and it was just what we needed it was just the perfect opportunity for Mike Harrison and myself just to get away from any extra stresses like that happened at home just you know normal day-to-day -day stuff like having to do the hoovering and cleaning up and doing the washing and cooking dinner and stuff it was just nice just to relax and give Harrison all the attention he needed. It was such a nice break and I'm so grateful that Mike went ahead and booked it for us. Um, today I am off to see my friend Sophie for lunch and um, we're just going to go to Gail's I think and get some cake. Definitely need some tea or coffee because I am tired. I think you can probably tell how tired I am. Um, Harrison didn't want to go to sleep last night and then at about midnight half 11 midnight he decided to scream through until 2 a.m and it was stressful um nothing would calm him down he was just he was just very 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 upset and i got very very upset because next door started banging because harrison was crying and i just don't like that at all he's a little baby he's not even five months yet and they were banging on the wall for him to be quiet and i mean I wouldn't mind as much if he did it every night or if it was keeping them up every single night since he was born but this is probably the first time he's been like it and um, he always sleeps through and for him to be up until 2am crying is a very 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 rare occurrence and then banging on the wall definitely was not what I needed um, and that is definitely not going to make a baby stop crying so yeah I am very very tired today I am going to go out have some tea and cake then I need to go and buy Harrison a little wetsuit thing because he does really love the water and I just want to make sure that he stays warm. I didn't want to buy one to begin with because I wasn't sure if he was going to love the water um, but now that I know that he's enjoying it I am going to pick one up. Yeah I am going to go now. Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sorry there wasn't a video last week but I will be editing this vlog today and hopefully it will be up tonight or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because as always I do super, super appreciate every single one of them. Yeah, I will see you again next week. Bye guys.